had a great adventure in Belize here. It's a phenomenal country. We love it. Definitely coming back, man. There's so many things to do here in the jungle, out on the ocean, snorkeling, the reef, sport fishing. But the jungle was was amazing. All the different birds and creatures that they have here. Finally made her back to Alaska, man, back where I belong. Get me out in the bush. What an adventure I've just been on. Spent two years in the wilderness of Alaska, a couple trips in the town. Then I jumped on my favorite airline, Alaska Airlines, flew all the way down to Houston, Texas. Jumped on American Airlines over to Belize, People out in the bush of a, the jungles of Belize. Going out to the Keys, we had a blast. Flew all the way back up. Hit Chicago, non-stop Chicago to Anchorage. Spent a few days in Anchorage loading down on supplies. Now it's back out into my homeland, the Alaska wilderness. Let's roll, baby. It's gonna be a fun day. Baby, load it down. Ready to get back in the wilds of Alaska. Going into the first tunnel. Into the mountain. Look at that on the other side, man. Shears straight up and down mountains, buried in lots and lots of snow. Down here, we're gonna go through like a one mile tunnel in the Whittier. There's people out 
to the entrance in the tunnel. It's 12 bucks to drive through the mountain down here. The, the tunnel goes straight through that mountain right there. It's like one mile through the, all the way through the bottom of that mountain. You come out on the other side and you're in Whittier. Whittier just over the top of these mountains is Prince William Sound. We're gonna hang out there and catch the ferry. Then we go out to the little uh, village of Chiniga. Then from Chiniga, it's across the Gulf of Alaska, to Kodiak. Then out in the bush. Anchorage loaded down at Costco's. Summer supplies. We're ready to head back out in the bush. Got that right, man. Yeah. That's where we belong. The wilderness people living life in the wilds of Alaska. Way off the grid. There's the beautiful the condo building we're staying in. Right up there on the very left hand side. Top floor. It's the honeymoon suite. June's Whittier Condos. It's an awesome place to stay, man. They take really good care of you. Our room is phenomenal. Living room with a sofa, reclining sofa, big recliner sofa. Beautiful bedroom with pastapedic queen size bed. Beautiful kitchen. It's the awesome place to stay with the view, million dollar view for sure overlooking the bay and all the mountains. If you ever come to Whittier, give June a call. She's a good friend of mine. She take good care of you. Motor vessel Kennecott, man. Biggest of our fleet. Without the Alaska State Ferry Highway System, people in the rural towns of Alaska would be shafted, man. This is Slurium here. Go top the boat. Keep it about about 85, 88 degrees in here. Nice and hot. But it gets chilly, just come in here and warm right up. There's the helm right up there. You might see the little wing helm, the captain. Island.
heading s directly southbound out of Prince William Sound. Heading for Geneva. Back off our stern there. Came out of Whittier. Four and a half hour run out of Whittier to Chikaniga. Little native village and we allow the people to come on board here. When they get to when we get to Chinega, the folks will come on board, they'll go to the gift shop, the restaurant, they'll buy burgers, all kinds of stuff because they don't get We just pulled up inside Chinega Bay here. Boy, not much snow this winter compared to last winter. It's got the bow thrusters on full. Pushing us over to the port. We're going to slide up in here. Montague Island over there. Prince William Sound, just one of the most beautiful places there is. on the starboard side. Let's go up to the bow and take a look on the port side. Last man getting back to the wilds. Can't wait man. Tomorrow I'll be in my skiff heading out for the bush. Ferry dock at Chinega Bay. Chinega Island. Got her tied up here. I'm only gonna be here for like 45 minutes. Tied up on the starboard side here. We even got to do a practice rescue drill, man. Abandoned ship rescue drill it was awesome. Just about to head out in the Gulf of Alaska here. Starts feeling the ocean swells now. Straight course, Kodiak Island, the rock. About a 12 hour run straight across. Leaving beautiful Prince William Sound. Harris Bay back up in there. Some wild, rugged, raw country. Ooh. Here comes the pala. Dolphin. Well, we just made it. 24 hour run from Whittier to Kodiak. And the Kennecott, it was a great run across the Gulf of Alaska, calm. Just a roll out there. We're home now. We're heading for the bush. Hopefully the boat will start and everything will run. We'll get home and get a fire going. Get warm.
just the pipes plugged up, so all you gotta do is just move it a little bit. You know it's coming out good. Now you gotta let it run until it goes clear. spring day we're pulling up to this beach here we've been out beach combing we found this beach here it's got a lot of driftwood on it as you can check out we're gonna pull right in here shut down the tides coming in for another two hours so we got two hours to cut and load it's nice and calm there's not even really a swell it's a perfect condition we call this beach logging
nice piece of red cedar. Look how red it is. It smells delicious. But it's kind of wet, so we'll split it up and heck, and when within four weeks it'll be bone dry. It's heavy right now. It's going to weigh like about 45 pounds. Got it all packed up. Gotta pack the old Magnum now because we saw the bears are out. You know it's still the latter part of March. We saw fresh bear tracks in the snow crossing off the of main Kodiak Island over to one of the smaller islands. Probably hunting for deer. They're hungry too. So beautiful out. We're gonna go try to get some herring and go jig up some fresh cod. Maybe some fresh halibetchki. Get some rigging and go uh, troll catch a king shaman. Nice butt piece of yellow cedar here. This one piece right here, this butt, it'll burn overnight for like probably 16 hours at least. And the best wood stove there is made. The Blaze King, Alaska style, all the way. Awesome that puffins came last year. It wasn't till the third week in May, and this year they just arrived last night. And the whales are coming through the pass. Very end of April. Another Alaska meal in the bush. Beautiful saffron rice with fresh razor clams that we just dug. And puppy cake salmon man right out of the ocean. Yeah, baby. Beautiful spring day here on Kodiak Island, the Rock. Well, we're getting ready to go on a brand new adventure, whole new exciting deal. So, anyway, I broke out the last jar of sockeye salmon bellies from last season. So we're celebrating. It's our last night here on Kodiak Island, the Rock. For now, we're getting ready to blow out. So, look at that, man. Sockeye salmon belly, baby. Mmm. Oh my god. Doesn't get any better. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing it to you live. Hey everyone, thanks for joining our adventure. Go to our Facebook page, Alaska Wild Adventures. Check it out, man. YouTube, you're already watching. Make sure you hit like on the video. And don't miss out. Come on next week, we're going to show you Alaska all year long.